Walking around, feeling free Thinking about what's happened to me from July Up till now, don't know where, don't know how Lately I've come to realize That I can't see it in your eyes So it's true, I'm so glad you feel it too Nothing to hide, I'm falling in love Excuse me? You like it or what? You look hella like good in that. Really? Yeah, it looks good. You look like important. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Um, huh? What's your name? Yeah, That's so cool. The sunroof, huh? See, this is something that I've always like wanted. And the beige is nice. It's gonna look good for filming, huh? I really like this color because it's just bright. It's cleaner. Oh, yeah. I mean like... It's gonna be harder to like maintain clean it would, though. It would be cool, you know, if it was black. Like black looks luxurious and uh -huh. like obviously you can keep it cleaner, like better. But I just feel like this is different, you know, like I've always had like we, everything interior black. Like, yeah, got, switch it up a little bit, you know like, what I mean? Yours is, yours is already black, so let's get something different, huh? <laughs> yeah, so the car is really, really nice, you guys. Look at that. BMW. I've never really wanted a BMW for like for us, but I don't know. It's a nice color. It's a nice car. It's a V8. So, you know what I mean? I get to have a little fun. Don't tell Stephanie about that. Twin turbo. But, damn, this is nice. Oh, wow, look at the back. You can cover this. What? Oh, like this right here? Like the trunk? Yeah. Oh, this is pretty, this is spacious. You can fit hella stuff. You feel like eight bodies back here. <laughs> like, why would we need to keep bodies in here? Oh, a nice little muffler delete. That th this thing will sound nice. This thing is spacious. Look, and you can oh, you can cover this. Look. I didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it was long. This is for Malachi, you guys. So Malachi is gonna be going right here. Wait, what is, what is this for? You can cover it. I don't yeah. know. I'm not sure. Put more stuff on top. Maybe. That's cool though, huh? Nice little feature. And this is what I mean. Look, you can open it like this too. Oh, look. You can open all of it, or you oh, can just open a little, a little beach date. You just open it and put like blankets. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's pretty cool. Really, like, what's up, guys? Hey, you guys want to chill back in my car yet? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So this is my last moments with the car. This is my very first Nissan Sentra. You know, I had some good moments with this car. It was my very first car overall. I moved out to LA with this. It's given us, you know, good, you know, gas mileage or whatever you want to call it. I didn't really have that much problems until recent, like today. Like I, that's crazy. But low key, like I'm not even sad about leaving this car, even though it was my first car. I thought it would be really emotional, but I'm not. Like how the, how I was with the Tesla, I was for some reason I was emotional with that one, but for this one, I'm like. Mm. It was cool and all, but I'm really excited for the new car. Yeah, so let me just show you guys. We're gonna say goodbye to the old Nissan. Bye, Nissan Sentra. <laughs> oh, this is it, guys. This is it. It sucks because I can't really take this off. That's where we would put our camera stand. But overall, I took everything out of there, out of there. This thing right here is a little messy. I still gotta clean it up. I have a trash bag right here that we can pick up all the trash because I have some Starbucks and other stuff like that and that's the back but yeah pretty excited so cool you guys I love this freaking trunk so this is a couple of items that we had in the car or in my Nissan we had like random basketballs in there for some reason we have some cleaning supplies I don't know if you guys can see that but we had all that so everything's in that bag this is a bag that i brought just for traveling which came in clutch also this one i didn't know i had in the back of the car but that one also came in clutch because i have an umbrella back there i had freaking random water bottles and old freaking books that i had from when i worked at applebee's before but period okay dang i'm really glad that it wasn't as messy as jesus's first charger because that was a mess but basically we're just taking this home this is trying to look at cool features on the car huh what are you looking at yeah, back I'm there to see some stuff, I, I guess you can lower the vehicle but I don't know. oh i guess you can like lower the vehicle like the vehicle can go down lower but i don't know maybe he can teach us
did have to stop by at the warehouse to pick up some orders and as well as because we are going to be coming out with a brand new launch coming very very soon so stay tuned for that we're very excited to bring out some new designs i feel like you guys are definitely gonna like it definitely gonna like it but we like to experience with new things we try to come out with new things every launch so i feel like it's just gonna get better and better from here honestly you know what i'm saying hey the background looks solid huh freaking looks really good let's see how it looks with the thing back though might look a lot better oh no ma'am damn we look hella brighter ma'am <laughs> Yeah, but we just woke up. We didn't even get ready. We we're just like, you know what? Let's get in the car. We're gonna come over here, pick up the new items for the new launch, pick up your guys' orders, and then as well as... Since we're basically already over here, it's only like another 20 minutes more, we did actually get some Chick-fil-A gift cards for Christmas. I'm pretty excited. So you know we are gonna be using those for sure. Oh yeah, we didn't show you guys gift cards that we got, but I think you got like what? $45? We got like of Starbucks? Something like that. We got no. $45. It was 30 bucks, 30 bucks for um, Chick-fil-A. And then it was... Um, 30 bucks for Chick-fil-A? Yeah. Oh, shit, so these boy. Both, these three have $10 each. Uh -huh. And then we also got um, a Starbucks gift card, which I already added to my points or whatever, my rewards. And I think this one had 20 or 25 And then we also got... A, I believe this one has 20 or $25 for Cold Stone. And we have another 15 huh? And then I think the other one I threw away because I had already added the Starbucks one. But the other 15 we gave it to Evelyn because oh, we traded okay. her in for her Starbucks. So oh yeah, we did some trades. We, so during Christmas, we actually played this game at Jesus' parents' house. And we had to like blow out the candles and like in line, there was like dollars and then there was gift cards so whichever one you blow up to you get that gift card so jesus had actually got a cold stone one and his sister really wanted that one but then when she blew them out she got the starbucks one and we really wanted that one so that's why we traded them in yeah because we like cold stone but not like that much yeah. like starbucks you know what i mean yeah starbucks is like my for sure everyday preference and 25 dollars at cold stone for us that's just like a bonus. Like, you know what I mean? I think it's like, what, 12 bucks for one time? Yeah. So we got like two times. This looks so cool. Yeah, so we're pretty excited. Stephanie has like $45 in gift cards that she that we won in prizes. For or Starbucks. Or just got in gift cards. Just for Starbucks. Just for Starbucks. Not and then, in gift cards. Yeah. And then we have $30 at Chick-fil-A and then $25 at Colson. So we're pretty excited. So we're going to be going to Chick-fil-A right now because all we ate this morning is Mexican bread and that's it, huh? Yeah. So we made it to Chick-fil-A, guys. Yeah. Got the gift cards ready. We're about to, uh, you know what I mean, use them, get a free meal. We got the OG, just a spicy chicken deluxe with fries and an orange Fanta. Because the orange Fanta hits different, especially because they have like their eyes, the little thin ones, or the little ones, you know It's like the little pelotas. Yeah, I think Sonic has those, and we love little pelotas. <laughs> huh? Yeah, the last two, two or three times, it hasn't been that good, huh? Yeah, the last three, t I feel like it's been three times for me that Chick-fil-A hasn't been really like that good. Either the chicken is too thin or like it has like weird pieces or it just is too, too spicy. Even though I know I'm getting a spicy chicken deluxe, I just feel like the spice is really different sometimes. It's I'm just, just like, it's not consistent. Like yeah. sometimes it tastes different. Like every time it tastes different. No, it's for never the past like, few times. Yeah, it's never like accurate, like always. Yeah, so like we're hoping that this time it's better. But like it's bad when we're saying that it's like not accurate, that it's too spicy or there's some chunks. It's still good though. Yeah. You know what I mean, we're not like saying like, oh, it's nasty. And then why are you guys still going? It's nasty, but it's good compared to like anywhere else. You know what I mean? So if it hit, it's like a hit or miss. Like you're either, you're still going to win, but you might hit the gold mine and hit a jackpot. We do need to buy a camera stand for this car because right now we have it on the freaking, how do you call this? Like the dash, I think. The dash, but it's kind of like lopsided. And then also right here, we can't even like put you guys right here because then there's a screen. Yeah, we need to buy us. a camera stand to put it right here behind the. But the thing screen. is that there's a speaker, so. Oh yeah, we'll just turn off the music. Since we have so much stuff to do today, and we literally had planned it last night, I feel like Jesus and I we both couldn't fall asleep very well last night, yeah. like at all. Like we went to sleep around like 1 a.m. and we were not on our phones at all. Like we were just in the dark. We could just hear each other like tossing and turning, and like we knew that we were awake. But we just want to say a word because we were trying to sleep. But then at some point we were like, what the? But yeah, basically we just couldn't sleep. Yeah. My hair looks crazy. 
So basically we just could not sleep because I think we had too much on our mind because we knew we had to do stuff today. And I feel like that always happens. Like whenever you know. Oh, how much was the total? The remaining? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yes, go ahead. Can we get Can we what? A napkin? Oh, there's other put hell in here. So like I was saying, um, I feel like every time you have a lot of stuff to do the next day and you know you have to get up early for it, like I feel like you just don't sleep well for some reason. Isn't that like a thing? Yeah, we didn't sleep well, but we're like, you know what? We need to fix our sleeping schedule because we've been waking up like at 12, 1, falling asleep like at 2. So it's just been like, wow, love oh, wow. that. <laughs> It's just been a roller coaster of like, I feel like we fixed it and then all of a sudden we made it worse. So that's why I was like, you know what? Let's just get four hours of sleep. We woke up at 8.30, get four hours of sleep and then just try to fall asleep earlier today. So that's what we're gonna do. I thought we were gonna have enough uh, like gift card money for two having 30 bucks, but it's $22. Cause you got a large and I got a mac and cheese. But I thought it was gonna be like 15 bucks, but nah. I just realized that the meals were like eight to nine bucks, just regular. Yeah. That's crazy, I didn't realize that. Okay, so we don't have our food tray, so we're making the most out of it. We're definitely gonna have to order some though. Oh yeah, for sure. We got the Chick-fil-A sauce in there, the fries. Stephanie's setting up hers. It's hard without a tray, huh? Yeah, and everything slides. Hey, my mess. And then she didn't get fries. She got, what'd you get? Mac and cheese. And then Fanta and Sprite. So we're just gonna eat in the car, outside. My it's window's a, down. It's a vibe. Hi, peaceful. I mean, my window's not down. I know. We came to get our daily Starbucks because I need some freaking caffeine in my system. It's already, what, 1.47 in the day and I haven't had any caffeine. So Seuss is gonna go and use the restroom. You guys, I really like the Starbucks because it has like really high windows. Like if I had a house, I would want everything to be open like this too. Super bright. All right, sorry for the angle. I know I need to get my little camera stand. But Jesus is taking a while. Um, I think he need to go take a little dookie or something. I don't know, but um, my drink was ready and I got a tall iced toasted white chocolate mocha with no whipped cream. And then I don't want the, sh the little sprinkles that they add on there either. So I told him to take it off. So let's try it. A ver si esta bueno, a ver, a ver. Mmm. Yeah, this is really good. Before I started getting into like the coffees and like actually branching out and trying to try new things, I used to always get the white chocolate mocha, just like the regular one, um, just for a little bit of caffeine. Cause honestly, that was just like a basic, like that was just like a something they already had. So that's what I used to always get. But now that they have like this toasted white chocolate mocha one, like it's a little bit different. Like you can, you can kind of taste the difference. I instantly feel more alive, more awake. I don't know what it is, but. Is that a thing where coffee actually, does it work like right away or what is it that it hits, you know? Like what is it doing to us? You know, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Ma'am. But anyways, I am super duper excited, you guys, because we did just call a place where um, we actually got Jesus's windows tinted for his car. And I'm excited because I really, really want to tint this car. I never really had my Nissan Sentra ever tinted. Like, Jesus always told me, like, do you want it tinted? Like, do you want it tinted? And in the three years that I've had it, I never tinted my windows. And honestly, I should have because you know what? Living here in California, like everything is freaking bright. Whenever it's summertime, the heat is so extremely freaking hot and it kind of hurts my skin. <laughs> like I'm aging just being in the car. So um, I think I'm actually going to go through with it and I really want to tint the windows here. I know it's going to cost a little bit more just because I think this one has extra windows. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me show you guys. You see those two little windows that are back there? So one and two and then we've got three right here four back window will be five six seven eight and then my window nine so that's nine windows and i know it's going to be a little bit more but i really want to tint that one like the limo i think that's what i call it um tint because it's going to be like super duper dark and then also with the little one right there dark dark and then this one just like a kind of like a mediumish dark i don't know how you call it and then this one dark enough for it to be legal you know what i'm saying so because I ain't trying to get any tickets or anything, any fix the tickets, because those things be annoying. Just for more of like a privacy thing and because of the whole sun situation. And plus I have like these like leather seats. So I know in the summertime it's going to be freaking hot, which I'm prepared for because um, I just am. <laughs> 
I don't know, but I'm really enjoying my car, you guys. This car is so freaking nice. I love the sunroof here. Let me turn it on. Let's see what it looks like whenever I turn it on right here. All right, let's turn it on and let's open the window. <gasps> is it brighter? Is it brighter? Is it brighter? It would look bald. <laughs> You guys, this freaking excites me. Like, I love this. And I'm not gonna open it right now because it is kind of sprinkling, like, lightly. But you can fully open this. And it's so freaking cool because it's such a vibe. I really like this because I think I already said this somewhere, but I'm gonna say it again. In the Tesla, I really liked that it had, like, the whole top open. But this one actually has a cover, you know? So sometimes there would be points where I didn't want the tesla car to have it like open you know what i'm saying like i didn't want the sunroof to be open but there wasn't a choice where you could close it so now that this one closes such a vibe i love it i feel like it's more convenient for me because even in the mornings like sometimes i don't want the whole window open and with it being able to close like i freaking love it he's just taking a fat ass shit or something damn all right the guys so we're finally in my car i feel like we haven't driven my car in a while that's because i have been hearing like a little noise in the car i don't know exactly what it is i'm supposed to be going to take it in and i'm the type of guy that i don't like shit breaking and obviously these cars you push them you know what i mean but um, yeah, I hear a little noise. I don't know if it's minor, if it's major, but we do need to get it checked on. So I didn't want to drive it and then something happens, um, but there's no check engine lights. But yeah, I'm just very freaking cuidadoso. Very, I don't cautious. know, cautious, yeah. But we did take Stephanie's car in to get detailed. So yeah, so that one is gonna be $250. They did charge us, how much for this one? 150, huh? 150. 150 so it was almost another 100 bucks but it's gonna look a lot better especially for the summertime and everything it's like yeah. one of those scenes that you're it's like kind of necessary huh baby yeah i was explaining to them when you were freaking taking forever in the bathroom who, who did that i don't know was there a line yeah there was a there was a long yeah I don't, know, I don't know what's going on my guy yo i know there was a long line you guys so i had to just kind of wait a second <laughs> um that's no, not but, important um yeah that's what i was saying is that during the summertime, like, like I was talking about how like the Tesla, it had that whole window thing, but uh -huh. it didn't have the choice to close it whenever you didn't oh, want so all that sunlight. It's cool that this one has it, huh? Yeah, so I really like that this one does have it, and I'm super excited to be tinting it, like I said, because in the summertime, it'd be way too hot. Especially because the seats are white. It's whatever, but right now, we are going to take in the car to the muffler shop because I feel like the problem is that one of the mufflers, like, legitly came off. I don't know if they didn't weld it on correctly or something, but it literally just came off the exhaust tip. So we need to go back over there so they can fix it. And uh, yeah, cause it looks kind of funny right now, but we are leaving Stephanie's car at the tent shop. They said around two to three hours. So we'll probably pick it up back then. So we actually did stop by to go get the exhaust thing fixed, but they were so busy. It was like a two hour wait. So we're like, you know what? I'll come back tomorrow. But this is what I'm talking about guys. Don't mind the car. It's like super dirty. It's been in the garage. Um, that tip right there. Where you at, Papa? Yeah, where you at? Yeah, we don't know what the hell happened. Yeah, so like I said, the guy was saying that he didn't uh, weld it. Like they didn't, that he didn't know why they didn't weld it because he looked at the other one and he was like, oh, we didn't weld it. Like it's supposed to be welded. Yeah, so we're going to cover for it. So they're going to cover for it. But the Jilly, who's my baby? Who's my cute ass baby? So cute. Stephanie gets all shy. I'm huh? cuter. Oh, yes, you are, Chula. Where are we going right now, baby? We're going to Best Buy. Go get some um, phone accessories. Yeah, we're going to get some phone accessories, you guys, because we were like, you know what? This car look. I mean, this car, this phone looks really nice like this, but I'm like scared to drop it. Yeah, me like, too. Hold on. You better hold on to it. Yeah, it feels really weird to like hold it like this. Yeah, I might get a clear one. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I don't want to break it, you guys, because I mean, obviously the back, I don't think it could break, <laughs> but the front for sure could break. So not I'm the like, chunkless. you know what? I know, not the chunkless in the rain. <laughs> Who the f am I? Why does this smell like shit? Because you're a Pisces. She's like, huh? What? what does it have to do with anything? <laughs> it smells like poop. Yeah, well, that's because I'm a Pisces. It smells like your diaper in the night. <laughs> well, that's a Sagittarius. She's like, huh? what? <laughs> Mood as fuck. <laughs> when your wife said you have to sell something, <laughs> else you're not getting any more fucking ass. He's like, oh, I'm gonna return this shit for sure. I want some ass. All right, guys, so we're looking at some of the iPhone cases. So we did look at this clear one and it seems a little girly, huh? It, it looked a little more girlier. Um, we just always, tried them on. Yeah, I always go with the black one, but it's so hard to put them on. And I got it dirty trying to fix it, but it doesn't look like there's any other ones unless I get this one. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. That would be cool. What if you get this? Oh, that one's kind of cool too, huh? Maybe. Or what? Or... Is this the one that you got? 
No. Oh, what about this? Well, this, this one seems hard. It seems hard too, huh? Is that one? Where'd you get that one at? Right here. Oh, but that's only pro. Or no, it's pro max. This is extra large. Where'd you get it at? Right there. What's the difference? Hold on. Okay, guys, so I think we're gonna go with this one. Jesus likes the classic black. Very nice. Not sure what that yeah. white part is, though. Is that a, no, I, I think that's safe, I think. And I like it because it, it doesn't get dirty. Watch, let me see your phone. Has it gone dirty or no? Like the cover? Yeah, mine does. It looks brown already. Oh, yeah, from the outside, you see that? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it looks nicer for, for Stephanie, you mean? The clear? Yeah. I'll for sure go with this one. Yeah, look at the brown. I don't and know it, how it gets it's like that. It's on sale. I don't know why it's on sale. I feel like it would be... It's only $2 less. Yeah. And I don't know what it means, but like, it literally says five times tested, and then this one's three times tested. Don't know So I don't know what that means. It looks like I'm about to rob the place, but it's hoodie season. Got my hoodie. And uh, yeah, I did end up going with this normal black one. It does look like it'll protect it really good, so that's why I went with it. And it's simple. I've always liked the black, as you guys can kind of tell. <laughs> Stephanie, she's always needing her stuff. Look at her, look at her, hit her, hit her. I'm telling you, Target twice a week, you guys, twice a week. Wait, wait, wait. Why doesn't it tell me what it is on here? Oh, I don't know, Chelser. Stephanie loves coming to Target and buying different types of lotions and foundations for your different parts of your body. Who knew you need fucking foundation for your toes? <laughs> In all honesty, like answer, like how many lotions do you have that you use after you shower? Lotions? Or just like products that you put on? I put on like four products. God damn. But not just for my face. I put two on my face, uh -huh. one of them for my hair, one for my body. What about your toes? Do you put anything? Yeah. Like I've told you guys before, head and shoulders everywhere. Not just head and shoulders, head and body. So Stephanie in her tent, you can see her a lot more right now. You can see her hella, or it's because of that light right there. But we did get 35% on the side. Then we got like literally, I think pitch black right there, pitch black right there, pitch black on the back, pitch black, pitch black. And yeah, we just got 35% over here, but you can definitely see Stephanie still. But she wanted it a little bit darker, huh? You wanted it a little bit darker, but beer what? No, now that I think about it, I can't see in the dark. It's hard, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that, it's the same one that I have, but just Stephanie has more lights. Oh, wow, turn it off. It looks hella nice with the lights. Show them. Oh, my okay. nice. Turn on the orange. Let me see. Let's see. Hey, vibe. Hey. Show them inside. inside. Here, so you can see it. Look, you see how it looks? Oh, wow. Looks nice, huh? Stephanie, she put like all faith in me to kind of pick the car for her. We were going for like uh, an Infiniti Q50, I believe it was. And then we were also going for like a Mercedes Benz. Um, I forgot what, which one it was. But um, honestly, like this one, how I told Stephanie, she told me, I want this in my car. 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 <laughs> honestly, the beige seats weren't even like something you wanted, huh? It's not what... Like, I didn't even think about the seat color. You I was always just get like, them in black. Yeah, I was just like, whatever. But this <laughs> looks nice, like, for filming. Hold on. Let me freaking... I look short. For filming, I feel like this is amazing. Like, oh, yeah. I really like this. And there's more lighting. Hold on. Just wait. Yeah, Stephanie... Stephanie's in love with yeah! her car. That's, that's what got me excited, you guys, is that Stephanie was in love with her car. I'm honestly in love with her car just because of the engine, you guys. Like, this car pushes out almost 500 horsepower. I think it's like 485. Is it? It's a V8 twin turbo. Yeah. It's really? 485 horsepower, I think 470 torque. This thing moves and it's all wheel drive. That's what I like the most too, because uh. if we ever do take a trip to the snow, it'd be like less required if you wear chains and you won't be like slipping everywhere because all four wheels are working. So we really like that. She wanted something more spacious, which that's what we got. And yeah. what, what were your requirements that you told me? So basically I really wanted heated seats and a backup camera. Okay, heated seats, backup camera, you want a sunroof, huh? I didn't really care for the sunroof, but the sunroof was like a bonus. I've always wanted it though, but like it, having it already was like freaking amazing. But this is a moonroof, which I told her that is like even a plus because this one's cool because you said that the Tesla, you didn't like it because it couldn't close. Huh? Yeah. Like this one could close. Like if you guys can see like that, watch it. It's going to close. Ugh. So it, just, it closes. That way um, the sun doesn't hit you, especially like during yeah. the day and stuff like that. See like how it's closing right now? Honestly, the car drives really, really good. The only thing is it's not a gas saver, but you either want speed or you want, yeah. you know what I mean? But I don't really care about that. Honestly, like I just, I'm glad to have a different car because the other one was too much. It was a little bit of a struggle. I didn't realize that it was giving me problems, but once we finally took that trip, I was like, yeah, I'm over this. Honestly, any like four cylinder car, it seems like they get more problems than like six cylinders. I feel like six cylinders, like, 
the sweet spot to kind of um, go for engines from what I've heard. But the cool thing is that we have a bumper to bumper warranty on this one. So if anything happens to the car, it is covered. So that was a bonus. So basically in the last video, we did tell you guys that we were gonna go on a trip, but we weren't gonna tell you guys yet until this video. So basically the whole point of going over there was to look for this car. We found this car online, well, he did. And we fell in love with it. We wanted to check it out. And once we got there, we were gonna be like, oh yeah, for sure we want it or for sure we don't want it. We wanted to test it out. With being the, pro the problem that happened made us even more want the car. You yeah, know what I'm exactly. saying? Yeah, exactly. And there was like, there was another car like this that was like $6,000 more, but, and it had more miles. And I was like, nah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> so that's the reason why we drove three to four hours because since we're in a small town, there's not as many cars as there would be like in a San Francisco or, or LA area where they have so many of these cars and other cars that they lower the prices. So the price was good. Um, it was less miles. I guess the owner that had this car before, he was the owner of that. He was someone who worked at the dealership. Yeah, so he was the owner of the dealership. Oh, really? He was the owner of the dealership, so he had pretty much his workers take care of his car, which was this one. And honestly, this car is in really good yeah, condition. Yeah, I was going to say that, that this car has literally, like, no problems. It has, like, minor scratches, but it's yeah, not that bad. to be honest, it's, it's not It's just, bad. like, normal ones. Um, I'm just really, like, I checked on everything. Everything is really clean, like nothing's tore even the dashboard is so freaking nice it's like really glossy yeah and to be honest with not driving the vehicle at all it was a big leap of faith but i did watch like a lot of videos and stuff like that to kind of drive all the way over there and we have to like the car at that point you know yeah. because I mean? at first we we're going to go over there test drive it see if we like it come home if we didn't right it was a most likely that we were going to get it though. yeah like so it was in our head already that yeah we're probably going to get it but once With, the transmission blew, yeah. We're once like, the transmission fuck. blew on my Nissan, we were like, "What? We like, better like the car. Everything better be good. Yeah, it's gonna be a most likely that we want the car because we needed to drive back." And what's crazy, you guys, is that when we were in the towing truck for like freaking two hours trying to get to our destination, which was the dealership, we were literally doing all the paperwork on the phone with the dealership guy on the way there. Like he was checking our credit or checking my credit doing all the paperwork and right when we got there first of all they were already closed yeah he stayed a little bit later so that was pretty cool he stayed like two hours later for us to do all the stuff and we test drove it there it was really nice it was a rainy day and i feel like we've been getting cars on rainy days oh uh, it's well, just except it's just for, a thing except for your uh new car yeah the charger yeah it was it was kind of a clear day but it was a vibe but all in all you guys were very appreciative for you guys staying tuned for our videos from the bottom of our hearts we really appreciate you Truly guys appreciate you guys thank you guys so much we love you guys you guys are allowing us to do what we love which is create videos for you guys and still kind of live a nice life so we really appreciate that from you guys. From here on out, I mean, we got our cars. You got your car, I got my car. From here on out, we need to chill. We need to chill, you know what I'm saying? I think, I feel like yours was more of like a, you wanted. Mm -hmm. Mine was more of like, I, I needed. needed. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, I think you guys wanted a truck. We still do, but. I feel like we have a, lo a lot of space. Like I can honestly put these seats down and have yeah. so much oh, space. Oh, it's a lot of space. But we still do want a truck. That's going to be like our third car. But that's one where we're like more financially stable and stuff like that. But I don't think we need that car though. We don't need it right now. That's what I'm saying. I tried to picture myself in a truck and I was like, mm. I, I told her about some trucks and she was kind of like iffy about it. So yeah, like, he showed me a lot of trucks and I was like, I don't know if I can see myself driving a truck. Like, uh, first of all, I'm a little ass girl. A lot of you guys tell me that too. When you see me in person, like, oh my God, you are so tiny in person. Like, girl, I know yeah, I'm 5'2 and I'm freaking small. And I'm, and I'm tall. So I'm, I'm Wait, like 5'2? Two. Two? Why did I say 5'2? Like 5'4. Uh, I'm 5'4". Yeah, that means like 5'4". I'm 5'4", you guys. Sorry, I'm super hyped on my freaking coffee. But that is going to be a wrap for today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it and you guys are happy for us. Hopefully, you guys like this new vibe. Let us know what you guys think. Yeah, we're probably going to be, if we're filming, we're probably going to be driving this car. That way, you guys can, it'll look a lot nicer. <laughs> but before we do into this video, we do have to do a post notification shout out, which is going to Humi Baby. So today's post notification shout out goes to Raquel Malara. Shout out to you. Whoever else like a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to her channel, turn on the bell and then comment when done and without further ado thank you so much for watching we love you guys and we'll see you guys next time peace, peace.